So since my last project, which was building a chest of drawers out of plywood, uh, I've decided to give pocket hole joinery a try. Um, <coughs> I went out and bought a little pocket hole jig from Silverline. This was around about six pounds. And uh, I thought I'd be able to fit that into my own constructed jig and uh, make one significantly cheaper than those getting offered on the internet at the moment. The most commonly available one in the UK is the Craig jig. Uh, other people like Trend and such like also manufacture them. None of them are desperately cheap. And so I thought I'd give, give it a go, make my own. <coughs> this I thought was the way to go. Um, steel bushes drill through to uh, produce a pocket hole in the wood. Problem with this is that the bushes that get inserted at the top are set at the diameter of the drill, but this does not continue through on the jig itself. That is at a larger diameter clearance hole. So therefore when you drill through it gives a lot of breakout on the pocket hole. Not a good result. The additional problem I found was the clearance in the hole for the drill gave a significant amount of slop, which equated to a point difference or point movement of the drill of three millimetres, uh, which to me wasn't satisfactory. <coughs> From that, I decided to make my own jig. This is made out of uh, teak, which I had in the workshop, and uh, plywood left over from my project. This is uh, half inch ply and uh, hard, hardwood face and, and has produced a satisfactory jig. This was bought from the internet. Toggle clamp around about £8.50. Uh, the screw that was delivered with it got replaced with a coach bolt, wing nut, uh, I manufactured the stopper to clamp the work on the end out of a piece of pine. <coughs> Coach bolt goes in, nut backing it up, works a tree. That is secured using uh, cross dowel bolts. Buy them from Screwfix, £2.50 for a bag of 50. They screw into insert nuts, which are screwed into the back of the wood. Again, around about £2.50 for a bag of 50 of those. Allen key screws the insert nut in. And the M6 thread fits perfectly. On the back, bought one of these nuts. They're around about a pound off the internet, delivered from China. Again, an insert nut on the back to secure it. The actual jig head is the teak double thickness glued together. I set this up in the, in the uh, pillar drill, drilled a 12 and a half mil hole. The steel tubing was bought on the internet, around about nine pound for a, a one meter length. 12 millimeter diameter, 10 millimeter bore. Works a treat. Set that in using epoxy resin to fix and secure. 
when it was all dry, cut everything through with a hacksaw and then that got sanded down on a belt sander. The height is adjustable, just like on the Craig K4 jig, to accommodate different thicknesses of wood, from the half inch upwards. I put six holes in here, rather than just four to secure this clamp. That gives me more capacity than the Craig would give uh, on theirs, so that uh, I can move it forward, shorten this down to work closer to the work, or to uh, put bigger work in, set it further back. And that's pretty much the jig. Works well for me, manufactured for around about £12, £15. Thank you for watching.